Hello everybody, this is Paris, and showing you some more Soul Singularity. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, because like 87% of you guys aren't subscribed. So, yeah, if you could do that, then that would be absolutely wonderful. So, last episode, we got this big boy over here, Jupiter, and his tiny little moon, which you can barely see because he's really small in comparison to Jupiter. Um, and in order to rank up, we just have to get the moon, and then we should be able to move on to the next one. Also got these things. Oh, okay, cryovolcanoes and dark matter. I I don't know how these work, but I think they they work somehow. Um, what what's a lot? That wasn't a lot, and what's that's also a lot. I mean, it's actually it's quite it's quite good. So then we can Gret uh, Gret. Yes, let's Gret the star. Just gotta wait. HD one one two zero nine seven constellation Virgo, hundred nine ninety nine light years away. There we go, dark matter fragmentation, good. That's an upgrade. Sophia Cloud, wonderful top stuff. We just make it, the whole universe have a, a very sad time. Um, we make them go backwards, let's not make them go backwards. Um, so then we should just be able to pop over here, rank up cryovolcanoes, and we can get fragmentation, increased Vesta payout. Many of the small asteroids and meteoroids in our solar system are thought to be fragments of Vesta, caused by collisions with other objects in the asteroid belt. Many meteorites that have landed on Earth were once part of Vesta. So, I guess it was once bigger, and now it's, it's not. <laughs> it's a good way to put everything. It was bigger, but now it's not. And then, let's just get all of the upgrades. I can... got a, quite a lot. Oh, wow. There we go. It's pretty good. And then we just rank up the moon. There we go. Uh, simulation level 5, 32 times pay. That's pretty good. Dark matter, sea of tranquility, dark side. All moon stuff. And now we can get one of one of Jupiter's many, many other moons. Europa. I wonder if it was discovered by someone in Europe. <laughs> I wonder what the chances are of that. So there we go. Got Europa now, um, it's just sort of chilling over there. So yeah, Jupiter's got a couple of well, he's, I think Jupiter's got something like fifty plus moons. Some um, yeah, it has a it has a lot of moons. Um, lots of them are really small, but it's a couple of them like these ones, Io Europa. They're the yeah, they're the bigger ones. Oh, there's another one going down here. It's it's another moon. <laughs> oh God's sake. Um, and then we just need to rank... Actually, no, we don't need to rank up Europa. We need to rank up... Oh, these... Oh, I can upgrade series. There we go. Dark Matter. Oh, goody. What's this one? Automate Europa. And that's the underground ocean, I presume. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they need to change that picture. But, you know, I tried to develop a game recently, and it's, it's quite difficult, so you've got to cut them some slack. Subsurface ocean. A layer of liquid water exists under Europa's crust due to heat generated by orbital res resonance with Jupiter's other moons. The subsurface ocean remains liquid while Europa's surface is frozen rock hard in at between minus 180 degrees and 220 degrees Celsius. That's... that's cold. It's very cold. It's not absolute zero. It's like nowhere near absolute zero, but it's still cold. Where's Ceres? It's this one. There we go. We can get it again. There we go. Oh, more good stuff. Wonderful. We can make it almost sphere, but not quite because it didn't. Oh, there we go. We can upgrade Vesta. There we go. Dark Matter, Aurora, uh, Rusty Red. Nice. And then I'm probably going to have to do. Yep, yeah, a bit more grinding because that's what this game is now. Let's. I'm gonna boost because I need. I need to save myself some sanity. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Here we are. So I've got both of them. No more, no less. Because I, you know, really didn't need some more of them. So here we go. Unknown. It's a celestial body and a moon. Ganymede. I guess. Yeah. Gan. Gany. Med. Mead. Med. Mead. Mead. Yes. Ganymede. It's um. It's a moon. It seems to be quite. There's this Jupiter, the... It's, it's just so big. <laughs> um, let's read this little guy here. 
Ganymede is not only a say <laughs> so this little guy is, says it's um the largest Galilean moon, but the largest moon in the entire solar system. It really isn't small. It has its own magnetic field and a thin oxygen atmosphere. It's it is larger than Mercury, and it's a moon. And Jupiter now is three. That you know unlocked, but Jupiter's like fifty two, I think. I think that's actually the exact number as well. So there we got nothing here. And then we just need to rank up IO a couple of times, that's easy enough. There we go. Some nice free stuff. Well it's not free, I've paid for it. So you can put him on, he's probably gonna take Oh, not that long actually. So planes speed him up even more. Good. Magnetic fields all over. There's another moon. Like I know I said Jupiter's got a lot of moons, but really you don't need to go all the way down here. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll um, catch up with you then, 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 yes, English. Alright, there we go, so that's, um, that took a, a while. But now we have Ca Callisto, Cal Callisto, Callisto, <laughs> that's definitely, probably not how you pronounce it. The fourth Galilean moon, Callisto has a heavily cratered surface. It's the only one of the Galilean moons not exposed to high levels of radiation, making it possible candidate for human settlers in the future. Okay, well I didn't know that the, all the other ones had like high amounts of radiation, but the more you know, you're watching the learning to know. <laughs> so then we get magnetic field to automate Ganymede, and you can't physically go any lower than this, but like there's, there's something down there. Can I? I can't. I, I can't open that. Cause I think I just opened. I did just open something. You, see, you can't get down there. That seems like a, a bit of an oversight. Or I'm just being special. No, you physically can't get down there. Um. Oh no! There we go. If you use the the arrow keys, yeah. If you use the arrow keys, you can get down. Okay. But the mouse only takes you down this low, but you have to... Oh, oh no, now it's not, not even working. How's that? <laughs> I think it just, like, broke the game. Yeah, because no, it's not... It's like, go up and then down, and it's just not, like... <laughs> that seems like a bit of an oversight. <laughs> Okay, well, we're just gonna have to live with that. We can speed up Europa, and then it's just collecting stardust. Oh, that's that's very entertaining and fun, isn't it? So let's have a look. What have we got so far is Jupiter. It looks like it's a, it's a <laughs> it's got its like solar system in itself. Um, and yeah, I like what they're doing here. I don't think they update it because they like to update it like every week, I think, or it's like every Friday. I think it gets redone, like done. Um, there you go, outer solar system, inner solar system, that's nice. Um, and yeah, I record these on Thursdays, well, not just Thursdays, but you know, I do a video on Thursday. No, I don't, I do one on Wednesday. I don't even know my own schedule, that's how inconsistent I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do one on Friday, but it's just before they do it. It's saying that there's something ready here, but there's not. Increase research mission speed. No, I don't. I don't really want to do that. Oh yeah, look here, silicon type. I think that was over here. Here we are. No, that's that's Aurora. This. Oh, here it is. Silicon type. S type asteroids contain a high amount of iron and magnesium silicates. They are the mo they they yeah. are they are the second most common type of asteroid. That's good to know. Still can't get lower than that. To get to, to get that, that that doesn't. Oh, I got it. I got past it, and I can just keep going. Yep, I can just keep going. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I guess here we go. Heavy cratering, because I doubt I'll be able to do this again. Callisto is one of the oldest objects in the solar system. And it has been bo and has borne the brunt of many impacts from other celestial bodies over its lifetime. The surface of this planet is almost entirely covered in the in craters of varying size. So it's it's a very old planet apparently. 
So you like, oh there we go, if you do both arrow keys at the same time, well not both arrow, like both mouse keys, you like right and left click, and go down, and then press the down on the, um, oh no, I think I just fix. oh no, I didn't fix it. There we go. That's really weird. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that's a thing. That just, oh, look at this. The helisphere, and then the interstellar space. I wonder where there's the solar neighborhood. Where's the Oort cloud? Where, what, I can't see. It might not be, it might be a thing. Like an actual upgradable thing. I think this is the Oort cloud. It's the, um, yeah, the Oort cloud is the edge of the sun's influence on the solar system. So it's literally, you, like, there's just this big, like, cloud, that's why it's called it, or the Oort cloud, around the, the sun, and it's just this big dome of just, like, really fine dust. Um, but there's so much of it that it's, like, this thick layer of, like, you know, obviously objects of varying size. And um, it's just, it's, yeah, the limit of the sun's influence. So it's... You know the literally the the boundaries of the sun's gravitational field, and it is way off. Like really, because obviously this is the solar system that we all know and love, but the actual solar system is is just this big dome. It's really interesting. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna run a bit of a rant about uh, the Oort cloud. Not the not a fart cloud. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then make sure you like and subscribe because that would be very nice. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, because uh, like eighty nine percent, eighty seven percent of you guys aren't subscribed. It's been a while since I've did the, done the intro. It's been like an hour um, of just clicking, um, and I accidentally dipped below one hundred Darwinium because I accidentally tapped on that. So yeah. Anyway, I'm. But uh, bye. Have a nice.